Hi everyone, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to the sixth video of the series. And if you are here, then that means you definitely like this course. And if you really did, then please share it with your friends learning Android application development. And also tell them to subscribe to Simplified Coding. In this video, we will be working on the update profile thing. And in this video, we will update only the display name and the profile picture. And that is why I have made some changes in the UI of our profile fragment. You can see I have made some changes. So the first thing that you need to do is open my repository. The link is given in the description of this video and then copy all the XML code of my fragment profile XML file and paste all the code into your file. Now let's move ahead. So first we will come inside profile fragment and here first we will get the current logged in user from Firebase authentication and for this we will create a val. So here we can write private val current user and it is equals to Firebase auth dot get instance dot current user. Now inside the function on view created first we will check if the user is not null. So here we will write current user and then null safety operator and then let. Now if it come inside that means the user is not null. And instead of it I will define user here. Now the first thing we have is the image view where we need to display the profile picture. And we have the profile picture URL or URI inside this user instance. And to load the picture with the help of URI, we need a library. And here I am going to use Glide Image Loading Library. So we need to add it into our project as well. And to add this library, first you need to add this Maven Central inside your root level build.gradle file, which is your project level Gradle, build.gradle file. So open this thing and here inside this repositories block we will add maven central now we will add these two lines inside our app level build.gradle file inside the dependencies block so here we will add it now we need to sync our project and then come back to profile fragment and here first we will load the profile picture and to load the profile picture we need to use glide so right glide then width and here we can pass this and then load and we will get the URL from this user val so we will write user dot photo URL that's it now we will write into that means where we want to load this photo so we want to load it inside our image view. So here we will write image view that is inside our profile fragment. So image is loaded. Now after loading the image, we will display the phone and the email and also the display name. So first we will display the display name and for the display name, we have the edit text in our fragment profile. This is the edit text. This is the email. It is the text view and I have enabled false here. So I will remove this thing. So we have text view for email because user cannot update the email directly because email is a sensitive information and when the user wants to update the email, he needs to re-authenticate himself. So that is why right now we will update only the display name and the profile picture. To update the phone number, user need to verify his phone number as well. So that is why we cannot update the phone number here. So right now we are going to update the profile picture and the display name only. So display name is inside edit text. So come back to profile fragment and here we will display the display name inside edit text name dot set text and we will get the name from the user display name. Now the same way we will set the phone number and the email. So let's set the email first. So we have text email dot text equals to user dot email. That's it. Now we will set the phone number, but the problem here is when the user registers, the phone number is not added. So we need to check if the phone number is added or not. 
so here we will write text4 dot text equals to f user dot phone number dot is null or empty if the phone number is null or empty that means the phone number is not available so in this case we will add the text add number and else we will add the user dot phone number that's it now we also need to display the email is verified or not and for this case I have one more text view here you can see it is invisible right now so if the email is not verified we will make this text view to visible and it will display that not verified the email is not verified so let's do it as well so here we will check if user dot is email verified and in this case we will set text not verified dot visibility equals to view dot invisible so in case the email is verified we will set the visibility to invisible so we will not see the not verified text but in case the email is not verified we will make it visible so just copy the same thing and make it visible now if we will run the application so let's try running it let's create a new account let's go to the profile screen and you can see we are seeing the email we have add number text and we have the hint that enter name because name is not set yet so now when we will click on this button we will update the name and the profile picture and for the profile picture it is not necessary to always set a profile picture so it is basically optional so when the user not selects the profile picture we will upload a random picture for the user and for the random picture i am going to use this thing pixum.photos slash 200 now it will give you a random image of 200 by 200 so i am going to use this url to generate a random picture for our user so inside our profile fragment i will define one more private val so private val default image url and it is equals to the url that we copied now we will use this url to generate a random image for our user so now we need to attach a click listener to our button save and inside this button first we will check the photo whether the photo is uploaded by the user or not so we have three cases so let's create a val photo first and here we will write when so when this image uri is initialized that means the user has selected an image and to check this we can use image uri dot is initialized so if our image uri is initialized that means we will use this selected image for the photo of the user now the next case is when the current user photo is null so if the current user photo url is equals to equals to null that means we need to use a random image for the user because the user has not selected an image and the current photo of the user is also null that means we need to give the user a random image so we will write here uri dot parse and we will pass the default image url now the last case we have is user did not select the image and user already have an image uploaded to his profile so in that case user do not want to change the image so in this case we will use the current user photo url that is already exist so we have the photo now we will get the display name from the edit text so we will write val name equals to edit text name dot text dot to string dot trim now we will also add some validations to username and for this we will check if name is empty 
that means we need to set an error like name required and we will request the focus and we will stop the further execution that's it now if everything is fine we will create a val named updates and for this we will create a user profile change request so for this we use user profile change request dot builder and to this builder we will set display name to the name that we get from the edit text so we will write name here and we will set the photo uri to this photo that's it now finally we will build this request using the build function and now we need to display the progress bar so we will set the visibility of the progress bar to visible because the profile update task is a network operation and it will take some time so when the profile is updating we will display the progress bar so we have the progress bar visible now we will use the current user instance and then we will call the function update profile and here we will pass this updates that is our user profile change request so we will pass the updates now we need to make the null safety here as well and then we will add an on complete listener to get a callback when this task is completed so we have the on complete listener here and here with this task object we will check if task dot not task we need to use it because if we want to use task we need to write task here so this way you can use task so if task is successful so in this case we will display a toast that profile is updated and for the toast we can use the extension function that we created so we can write here context dot toast and profile updated in the else part we will display the error message so we will write context toast and here we will display the exception from the task instance so here we will write task dot exception dot message and we make sure it is not null so that is fine oops here we do not need to use this null safety because we already checked it here so remove this question mark and we are done now i think it will work so let's try running this application to see if it is working or not so let's run it Let's go to profile and here I will add my name Bilal Khan. Now let's not select any image and save the changes. We are seeing the progress bar and the profile is updated and we just forget to hide this progress bar. So let's do it here. When the task is finished, we will set the progress bar to invisible. So copy this, paste it here and write invisible that's it now let's run our application again go to profile and this time you can see we have a profile picture and we have the display name so it is updated now we can also update the profile picture again so let's click an image and let's change the name to Bilal Haq save the changes and the profile is updated progress bar is gone now if we go back and come again then you can see we have the new profile picture and the name is updated so it is working fine so that's all for this video friends in case you have any problem feel free to comment it below thank you guys this is Bilal Khan now signing off <laughs>